What's going on guys, welcome to the 6-yard workshop. In today's video, I'm going to be going over everything you need to know about the Ryobi 1 Plus 4 Amp Hour 16 Inch Electric Lawnmower. Uh, battery powered electric lawnmower. I've used it, uh, we're going to talk about the features, why I bought it, what I like, what I don't like, as well as the ever controversial battery life. So I bought this mower for a couple of reasons. First off, I needed a lawnmower. Second off, it comes with the four amp hour batteries, two of them, uh, which is nice because I only have the 1.3s that came with my standard tool set. I already used Ryobi tools, so that was a bit of a no-brainer. And third off, I don't have much yard, so it it doesn't really matter to me whether it lasts an hour, two hours, or ten minutes because it's not that big of a deal. So it actually is powered by one Ryobi 4 amp hour battery. The battery pops right in the top here, and as long as this key is in place, that is supposed to give you 20 minutes of run time. They also had a promotion where when you buy this, you can get a yard tool of your choice. Chainsaw, leaf blower, weed whacker. I went with the electric trimmer uh, just because I also need one of those for my yard. It runs off the same batteries and I think that plus two batteries plus the more is a pretty good deal of $400. These batteries alone in Canada are $140 for a pair. Honestly, it's a no-brainer for me. So features of this lawnmower. It has a bag that you can attach right here for mulching. Uh, I used it last time, it actually works great. Uh, I plan on using it this time without the mulch bag just to see how she does. You also have a single point adjustable height, I guess, feature, which is nice because with one hand you can adjust the height up and down. And I've had lawnmowers where you have to adjust individual wheels and that's just kind of a pain, so that is actually a nice feature. Um, this folds down for vertical storage. You can actually hang it on a wall. So there's your vertical storage. It's actually quite lightweight. It's probably 15 pounds. I'm not sure how you hang this on the wall. I just presume that's what vertical storage means. Either way, it takes up no space at all. You could literally like put this on a, on a shelf, a standard uh, PVC plastic shelf would fit this perfectly. So battery life is the controversial topic if you read all the reviews. People say they only got six minutes out of a battery, which means 12 minutes of runtime total, right? I got, I think I got eight minutes out of a half battery, so I expect 16 out of a full one is fully charged. Also, battery life depends on how thick the grass is, how wet it is. There are a lot of factors that determine the resistance that the blades have to chew through. Uh, and resistance equals more power being needed equals change of battery faster. So let's take this thing outside and cut the grass because I haven't cut the grass in like two and a half weeks and uh, I'm only going to take one battery fully charged. I don't know if you can see that but we got four green lights and uh, we'll see what it is when we come back. So this first clip is me cutting my grass two and a half weeks ago. I had this plan to do a big unboxing video and accidentally deleted most of my footage. This is the only shot I have left, so I'm using it, and coincidentally, I didn't film myself cutting the front lawn this morning. The grass is about the same height as it was last time though, so you kind of get a reference for what the lawnmower is going through. So I'm mowing the front lawn, I changed my mind, and I wanted to see how much square feet of grass I could cut and trim using one battery. And then compare it to Ryobi's claims, as well as the reviews I've been reading. And yes, I'm aware my lawn kind of looks like crap. We just bought this house last winter and the previous owners had a pool that took up most of the yard. It was a homemade pool with two by fours and ranch straps. So uh, I'll find a picture and show it to you right now. Anyways, they used fill dirt, not topsoil. So we can't just grow grass. So the rocks and the shrubs, that's stuff we've done. And we're gonna recultivate and reslope the entire lawn later on. Once the mower finally ended up dying, I grabbed my tape measure to get some super accurate measurements for this extremely scientific process I'm doing. I measured out each area I cut and trimmed. So if you're just mowing, you'll probably be able to get double the square footage out of one battery. Okay, so we're back in the shop and it's time to report my super scientific findings. So I was able to cut and trim 666 square feet with just one battery. Uh, so I, I would say that's pretty good. 
If you're just mowing, I think you could probably do double that with just one battery. Uh, so we'll say 12,000 square feet. So off of the two batteries that it comes with, you can probably do about 25,000 square feet, which honestly is less than a tenth of an acre. So I don't believe that you can do 0.4. Um, like the box says and it honestly it did probably run for over 20 minutes So is this the mower for you? Should you buy one? If your lawn is less than 2,000 square feet, I would say it's a it's a, it's a good purchase uh, No issues there. If you have a bigger lawn, but you're operating off the Ryobi OnePlus platform already I think it's a really good idea to get one uh, electric has less maintenance. They're a lot lighter and uh, They tend to work just as well. Uh, I guess it depends on your current situation, but I love the fact that this thing's cordless. And would I recommend it? Yeah, actually I would. Um, anyways, this wasn't paid guys. I bought this with my own money. Uh, I'm really happy with this product. If you guys like it, feel free to subscribe. I do a lot of videos, mainly on the woodworking and, and house renovation side, but I figured this was a new Ryobi tool and I kind of wanted to share my experiences with you, especially because it had such bad reviews on the battery power. And uh, yeah, super scientific test results are over and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we're back in the shop and